Hi there, in this video we will recall the set notation and we can also see that how it can be used in economics. So uh, straight away we come to what is a set, it's basically a collection of distinct objects, for example the numbers, the labor of a firm, of firms in, in an industry, countries in a region or in the whole world. These are well defined and distinct objects that we can gather and make a set. They are written in curly brackets most of the times as you can see here and uh, these members are known as the elements of the set. These are various uh, elements of a certain set and there are two ways of writing uh, the set. Uh, we can write them in an enumeration method or description method. Here there is an example of enumeration method in which we can see that all the foreign banks that are operating in Pakistan have been listed. So these are the banks that are there. Since we are writing all of them separated by commas, we can say that this is an enumeration method of a set. The same can be written in description method and in this a certain decorum is used. Again the curly brackets they are there. However, we start with the symbol that we choose to represent the elements and we choose X for it and then such that X is a foreign bank in Pakistan. So in this uh, phrase we have explained that what are the elements of the uh, set that we are referring to the symbol of which is capital B. So B is the set of all the Pakistani banks uh, and X such that X is a foreign bank in Pakistan. So this is the way we can read it. Um, now this is another symbol that we usually confront in a set notation and it shows the membership of a certain element that is a member of some other set. In other words what uh, we are trying to say is that a certain bank is a member of set B. A range in set notation can also be represented. For example, we all know about MPC and in MPC there is a certain range as we know that MPC is from 0 to 1. So the range can be written in this way that MPC such that MPC range is from 0 to 1. And now uh, how we can represent a relationship using a set notation. We have two sets here, one is A that has these countries and B is there which has an, another set of countries. Here B is a smaller part of A that is B is a subset of A. In other words B is contained in A and A contains B or A includes B or B is a subset of A. So this is how we can understand the set notation and its usage in economics.